Hi, it's Melissa and welcome to another layout for clip kits. I'm using the November clip kit again and it's called Tapestry and here's another look at it. It's very, very beautiful. Here's a look at my layout. The layout that I'm creating today is for uh, what we call art class, which is using paints, mixed media, artsy techniques. So I wanted to use the cut files for this month, which are the one is the one with all the squares and also those beautiful feathers. Now when I first saw this cut file, which by the way I've made a lot smaller than it is, you can play with it and make it whatever size you want, I just thought it looked stunning over the top of that constellation paper. And what I love about that paper is that it's dark, it's like a dark navy, and then the constellation pieces or features are all in a teal colour. And I just thought that against the white it was just stunning. So I've used my Tombow and glued little bits of it down and I'm going to stitch the um, on the diagonal and you'll get to see that later. So I've just added little bits of Tombow, I've lifted up some of the pieces and I didn't want to overdo it because then I didn't really want to have to stitch through all of that. So it's a little bit shy on one side and over on the other so I've just trimmed it off and later on when I adhere it you'll just, you won't even know that it's a little bit shy on one side. So that's that. And now I'm working with my photo and I'm wanting to provide some layers. I ahead of time put a white border on it with some white cardstock and if you watch my videos a lot you'll know that I love to do that. Now this blue piece is out of the Cedar Lane 6x6 pad and I thought it looked really good with the colours in the photo and also the colours I'm going to use on this layout. So this is a photo of me and I was about 35 weeks pregnant at the time and no you can't see my baby bump but it's a quick selfie. I actually, I needed a new profile picture for Facebook I think. And I was at the park with my, um, she was then my youngest daughter. She's now our second, well, our oldest daughter. I was with her and the light was good. And I just grabbed my phone and took a quick selfie. So that's what it is. And this layout will go into my pregnancy album. And I'm so glad that I'm scrapping this photo because I'm a bit behind in it. And I'm really bad at wanting to scrap my newest photos. And I tend to forget about my older ones. So... This was taken in March 2014 and she was born in April 2014. So I was just going through the pad again seeing if there's anything else and I did think about using that pink paper but um, in the end it doesn't make it. The tones are, well, they're not. it's not that they're wrong, they just don't really work with what I'm trying to achieve. So I found this doily, it was floating around in my stash and I should have gone with my first instinct which was it's quite creamy yellow tone and it really doesn't work with the white tones in this collection but anyway you'll you'll see it come and then go so here I'm thinking I'm still using that pink and then when I look at the photo on this beautiful piece of white with navy floral this looks beautiful and that navy paper there with the um, kind of like oval, um, I guess it's a geometric, kind of a blurred geometric. Um, that's a paper I thought I could never use. But don't overlook pieces of paper that you don't think you can use in a kit because aside from having the other side, they make really good layering pieces because of course they go with the kit. And in this case they go with the collection because of this collection. And... In case you weren't aware, it's the Wildflowers collection from We Are Memory Keepers and it is absolutely stunning to work with. So here I'm just building my layers and I thought that I wanted that doily in there. At this point I was convinced that I could make it work and I've just ruffled up that or scrunched that floral paper just to give it a bit of movement. And yeah, you can really see that it's not right but... Anyway, I'm forging ahead and at this point thinking, no, I can make it work. Because my intention for the art, artsy side of this layout is to play with my watercolours. So I'm wanting to use this frame and I haven't used any of these yet. So I've just cut it down a bit so I can tuck it into my layers. And it's gold and it's beautiful. I love it. And 
because the positioning of it was exactly where I wanted it, I didn't want it to move, so I've just lifted up the edges and I'm just using some double sided tape which will stick it on both sides and I'm loving how that looks. So I've had this piece of frame that I've um, cut off and I thought I might have used it on this one as well and so all I'm going to do is just um, decide whether it goes on top or poking out from under my photo. I decide that on top is um, quite stunning and, and looks better than underneath. And I've just attached it with my little stapler. Now, the staples are silver, the frame is gold, it doesn't bother me. I don't, you know, it's a small detail really. And once I add my embellishment, I don't really think I'm going to look at it and go, oh no, silver and gold. So I must be thinking there of what I'm going to do next. And um, here's a good shot of the doily looking long. Well, I think it looks long. Um, and here I just got a pen could use a pencil but I couldn't find one and I'm just marking out where that square is going to sit and just checking to make sure and now I am going to be doing the famous and uh, greatly loved packaging technique so here I'm just using a navy and a lighter blue and I've got a Stampin' Up! water pen and because it's filled with water all I have to do is squeeze the uh, body of the pen and the water comes out. Now lately I've been enjoying kind of sliding my packaging around and that creates a different technique and especially in the beginning when you've got quite a lot of colour on there. So that's all I'm doing there and I'm just trying to make sure I don't waste time or because for me scrapping is it's a precious time user. I'm not, not a time waster. What I'm trying to say is I don't have much time to scrap so when I do scrap, I want to get on with it and get it done as fast as possible, but also have fun. And so I don't want to waste any time doing any watercolouring in the middle of the page or between those little marks that I've made. So now I'm adding some Heidi Swap Colour Shine, and I've used Seafoam, Teal, and Gold. And it's a beautiful day here in New Zealand, and so... I just put it outside to dry. I put it on the barbecue actually, which is black and the sun is shining, it's spring and it'll dry in no time. So there I was just looking at where I wanted those feathers to go and what um, side or what angle I wanted them to go at. And while I was doing that, I just thought about what I was going to place next to my photo or tucked under. And I did think about using that card because it's really pretty, but you'll see me play around a bit. So now I'm colouring these feathers and I kind of didn't really know what I was going to do at this point. But as I progressed, I thought I'll just get the colour onto them. I did think about having the tips gold because that's something that's really pretty. But for this one, I just extended the colour up and I thought that I really like that. So why not go for a gradient or ombre? And so I put more... Um, intense saturated colour at the bottom and then I just pull it up to the top of my brush and what I did there was dry off some of the pink just so I can get a more intense um, colour at the base of the feather and then once again pull it up to the top so that's what I'm doing there and because I hadn't coloured the top of this feather I had to kind of water down my paint so that I didn't put too much intense colour at the top because I do want that ombre look and I also want it to be imperfect so I love that with watercolours you can achieve that kind of imperfect look and then I just came in with some that's a um, pink Heidi Swap colour shine and that one's called Rose and it's, the rose is really quite faint it's pretty and it went really well on the red pale feather and the pink went well on the um, darker red one or a more intense one. So here I am sticking this down with double sided tape and I've saved you the trouble of having to watch me pull off all double sided tape and um, now I'm just working out where I want my photo to go so um, yeah Needs a bit of dimension on it, and I've got this foam tape that I just got from a local stationery shop, and it's quite thick. 
and I like the dimension that it adds and it saves me having to use all those little Stampin' Up! dimensionals. So here I'm, I'm still toying with the idea of this card, it's really really pretty, but I need somewhere for my journaling and I love that the tag says adventure awaits and I think that's quite perfect for an end of pregnancy photo. So now I'm going through all the gorgeous bits and pieces that I've got left and I've got a ton of them left and I'm just pulling out bits and pieces that I think will work with my layout and so the base colour packaging technique that I've done with the blue that's really based on the blue and teal kind of colour and the navy colour of that constellation paper and now I want to bring in some pink and I didn't say this before but the reason I coloured those feathers pink and kind of um, light red colour were purely from the colour on that tag so it's also the colour on that ampersand card and I do think about using that as well so I will um, pull the layout back into the shot into frame soon so I'm sorry about this, but I did want you to see my bits and pieces. I know for me, when I'm watching other people's videos, I love watching them sort through all their little bits and pieces. So I've used a die cut flower, or a group of flowers, and a tag, and both of those, or a tag, a, um, what is that, a tab, both of them are from the Cedar Lane ephemera. And now I've found a doily, so you would have seen that I pulled apart that, I pulled off that other doily. Um, if you watch my videos, you'll know it's the second time in probably 10 days that I've pulled a, lay, a doily off my layout. So I'm going with that positioning there, and I like how that looks. And what you'll notice there is I've taken the adhesive off the double sided tape, the foam tape, but I haven't pressed it down. So that enables me just to tuck my feathers in. And this one, because of the tape, the foam tape just needed to be cut so it would fit. Now, I love the way these feathers are curling, and that's from the water of the watercolours and also from just the drying process. And now I'm using some just dimensional adhesive, and I'm wanting to lift them up. And this is how I'm keeping that curling, by just lifting up parts of the feather. And I found that I needed to add a bit of Tombow just because of the extra layers underneath with the die cut and the curling. It just needed something to anchor it, so that's what I'm doing. Now, there is a line coming down just to the left of that little triangle, so I needed something at the top to just take away from that or cover up the fact that it's there. Now, I don't cover it, but having a little embellishment cluster at the top, I think just provides a bit more detail and something else up there it's not just a line so there I've added my journaling and I'm happy with how that's looking so I'm just wanting to tuck that underneath and because I journaled with it under there I need to position it back so that it um, doesn't show I guess a line where the corner of the photo would be so I've used both double sided tape and a little bit more of that foam tape and just tucked it underneath and I've put some of the twine that comes in the kit on my tag. I love having my tags with twine on them, as you know. And I'm adding another little cut apart that says remember. And once again, I'm really trying to get one of these cards in, but they're just too, they're too dominant, as you can see there. So I'll just put them aside and they'll be used on something else. Now I've decided to call this layout Pregnant Selfie, and I'm using the Dear Lizzie thickers, they're puffy thickers, they're just so so pretty and they, they just work so well with the gold in this kit and what I did find was that I needed to put some Tombow on them, behind them because especially where I'd stuck them on the die cut because on their own, on the just where the watercolour is the blue at the bottom, that's fine but with the extra layers and also the stitching it needed it so that little thankful and grateful, that's one of the exclusive printables and I think it's just perfect to have just on the edge there. And my final touch was to come in with some gold colour shine and I went a bit, um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? I didn't hold back, you know me, I don't hold back with, I'm, I'm very, it's very hard for me to do minimalistic 
um, anything really. So, yeah. Now I'm just adding the date, and I'm just here as it um, stays on. And as you can see, I've added a bit more color shine than gold, and just a bit of glue at the top. And it needed a third element, and I did consider using that leaf, but I decided to have a little, I think it says grateful, washi sticker. And that's my final layout. Thanks for watching.